begin by reviewing our I can statement. To review, I can read and write numbers through one million. Don't forget to look at the anchor chart in the classroom. Again, we start on the right with the ones, moving to the left, tens, and then hundreds. We call this the ones period, and we place a comma. Next, we have 1,000, Ten thousand and hundred thousand. And again, that's three, one, two, three, so we place a comma. Then comes one million. So to review, try reading this number to yourself. Read it in your head, pause. Welcome back. Did you say 10,000, 500? If so, you're correct. Let's try another one. Try reading this in your head. If you'd like a bonus, see if you can write it down. You can use a dry erase board. Welcome back. Did you say 100, 50,000? Because that's in the thousands period, and then place a comma. 600? If so, you're correct. Again, we say 150,000, 600. Also to review, we said I can compare numbers using less than, remember our little tricks, reading left to right, less than, greater than, greater than, or equal to. Don't forget our rule. We are going to stack the numbers top to bottom. And we're going to compare from left to right using place value. Again, for example, if I have these numbers, 75. Let's see if we can get this to work for us. Is less than or greater than 65. I will rewrite the numbers stacking them. I will start on the left side, 7 and 6. That 7 is actually worth 70. The 6 is valued at 60, so I know that 70 is greater. So I will place the greater than symbol. 75 is greater than 65. Okay, let's practice a few. I'm going to write three down. You're going to pause, and you're going to try them. Go ahead, pause, try those. Welcome back. Now I'm sure you stacked them. Don't forget, we can add that little zero in there. I'm comparing left to right. This one is valued at 100 and nothing below. So that would have a greater than symbol. 101 is greater than 99. The next one, neatly write them and stack them. Add in that zero there to help you, that little ghost zero. And the top number has a one. This bottom number has a zero. That one on top again is valued at 1,000. So this number is greater. Don't be tricked. And then the last one, 100, 1,001, is less than or greater than or equal to 909. You should have placed the greater than symbol there. Hey, today our I can statement is I can use place value to round numbers. Okay, when we're rounding numbers, okay, we are going to be finding uh, a few things here. So before we round, let's do a little review here. Again, our I can statement, I can use place value. 
you want to underline the digit that you're told to round. Okay, we missed the G on the end. Two, look to the right. Five or more, you add one more to the number you're rounding. Let's put this in full screen mode. Example, round 134 to the nearest 10. Again, first step, underline the digit you're told to round. You're told to round to the nearest 10. So I'm going to underline that digit. Step two, I'm looking to the right. Five or more, I'm told to add one more. This is not five or more, so the number will stay the same. So that number then becomes 130. There's where we get that round zero on the end. We're rounding to the nearest 10. Okay, let's try a few of these. It says right which place to use when comparing the numbers, okay? So here, if we look at number 14, and we're looking at place value, we start at the left, a three and a three. Okay, those are the same. Let's look to the right, a nine and a two. So let's round those numbers to the nearest 10,000. I'm gonna abbreviate there. So you have to use your place value chart if you're not used to this. Okay, so let's try rounding 394,284 to the nearest 10,000. Okay, we're gonna underline that nine because it's in the 10,000s place. And we are going to look to the right. Let's erase this again. You're, under, you're rounding to the nearest 10,000. You're going to look to the right and the digit is a four. Okay, let's see if we get our smart board to cooperate. There we go. So the four is less than five, so it's gonna tell the nine to stay the same. So the nine stays the same everything else there is going to become a zero. Okay. And move that on the side for now. That's going to become 390,000. Let's try another one. Again, because if we notice the digits start to change when we get to the 10,000s place here, we are going to round to the nearest 10,000. Okay, 328. Okay, smart board is not cooperating. Let's try one last time here. 328,234. Again, we're rounding to the nearest 10,000. We underline the digit, look to the right. Five or more, we're going to add one to the number we are rounding. We are rounding the two, that's the digit we underline. So we're going to add one to it. So it becomes not a two anymore, but a three, and everything else is, becomes a rounded zero. Okay, if you think you know how to do these, try the next one. Number 15. Welcome back. Again. We notice that the number starts to change when we get to the ones. So we're going to round to the nearest tens. So we have 6,000. Okay, let's give it one more try here. 6,716. 6,714. Let's round this one to the nearest ten. Underline the digit that you're rounding. Look to the right. Five or more, we add one more. 
So if we're looking at 6,716, that's five or more. So we're going to add one. So this is going to become 6,720. The six and seven stay the same. We just add one to the number we're rounding. This one here, there's nothing because the four is less than five. So it becomes 6,710. Okay. Go ahead, pause, try the rest, try your best.